Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'll be sharing with you my BoxyCharm January unboxing, review, and tutorial. If you're new to my channel, my name is Candace. I do beauty, lifestyle, and fashion videos. If you're not new, welcome back. Thanks for tuning in and staying subscribed and continuing to watch my videos. If you're new, hopefully you'll stick around and subscribe and see all the fun and good videos I post here, including makeup videos like this one and reviews and unboxings and all of that good stuff. So let's dive right into the unboxing and basically showing you everything that's in this month's box or the box and items that I got. So first I have two skincare products, technically three if you consider a lip balm a skincare product, I guess it would be because it's like a primer, but that's kind of makeup too, but whatever. We're gonna consider it skincare today. Okay, so the first item I have is this, this from Mossy Deep Sweep 2% BHA Pore Cleaning Toner. It comes in a box like this. And then if you wanna see what the actual bottle looks like. Oh, this is nice. It's glass and the liquid is green. I'm really excited to try this. I have not tried it yet. And let me just tell you the information about it. It's alcohol free, that's always good, wow. Gently exfoliates, deep cleans, pores, and controls oil without over stripping skin. Ideal for combination oily or acne prone skin. Oh no, I don't have either of those. So because of that, I will be throwing this into a future giveaway. I really want to try it, but I cannot do anything for any of those skin types. I have super dry skin and I don't want to make that worse. And I don't want to, you know, just get rid of this. I do want it to go to someone who could actually use it. So I'm going to put it in a future giveaway, not a giveaway currently, but in a future big giveaway that I normally do. But that product retails for $28. So that already pays for more than the cost of the box, just with that product alone. The other or one of the other skincare products I have. This is, still recording? Okay. What? This is the Dr. Brent Do Not Age with Dr. Brent Triple Peptide Eye Cream. Comes in a box like this. I'm very familiar with this brand. I've used the Wrinkles No More serum, and I think it's a serum. I've used that on my eyes before, and was it an eye product? I, I totally forgot what it is. I've used it so long ago. It was a wrinkles no more. I think it goes around your eyes or face or something. Not wrinkles no more, needles no more, I think. Oh my God, I can't remember. But they have great skincare and everything I've ever tried from them has been great. I have not tried this eye cream, but I'm quite sure it's awesome. Let me tell you, this is the package. Firstly, foremost, this retails for $82. Oh my God. Seriously? Wow, okay, that's like four times the cost of the box. Three times the cost of the box. A little dollars or a few more dollars extra. Extra! Okay, this hydrates, and has peptides, helps diminish all signs of aging around the delicate eye area, including lines, wrinkles, dark circles, puffiness, for refreshed, younger looking eyes, and for all skin types, I would definitely be holding on to this baby. I love Dr. Brandt. Their products are quite pricey, but they're definitely worth it from my experience. I'm not sure about this yet because I have not tried it, so I cannot to, I cannot attest to how it actually works yet. But moving on, this is the Bali Balm Sweet Orange and Coconut Lip Balm. I did use that, or this, yesterday and today. That's the box. And then here's the actual product. This stuff really hydrates and soothes my lips and it smells and tastes amazing. So you could even wear this alone. If you just want a sweet orange treat, no pun intended, but. Nice. It tastes really good. I don't really taste the coconut. I taste more of the orange and I smell more of the orange, but that's not to say coconut is not in here. I'm not saying that, but. I guess some I smell the coconut now that I do this, but on my lips, more of the orange comes across. Maybe it's just me, I don't know. This retails for $33, also more expensive than the price of the entire box. And this has essential oils of sweet orange and coconut, has a citrusy tropi tropical aroma and silky smooth consist consistency. It is packed with vitamin C, which even skin tone and protects against free radicals. And then coconut is a natural emollient, emollient that moisturizes soft, supple lips. So love this lip balm. Definitely will be using this more. I might even pack it in my purse because on a regular day, I don't wear makeup. I just do this for social media and when I go out and go on dates with my husband and things like that. But regularly, I don't wear much makeup. Okay, last two items are makeup palettes. 
This is the Seattle. The Seattle London, the Velvet palette. I did use that for this video. Gorgeous palette of mattes and shimmers. I'm going to insert some swatches of the palette so you can see what every single color looks like. Great palette of mattes and shimmers. Y'all know I'm all about mattes usually, but I feel like it has a nice balance of shimmers and mattes. And I just really like how this look came out. I really do. Okay, that palette retails for $30. You can create molten metal and matte looks with this palette. It has hyper metallics, soft shimmers, and velvety smooth mattes. Innovative powder formulation delivers high pigment and super soft application. I could definitely attest to that because this is my second time applying these colors on the eyes. And both times I had no problems. I had no problems with blending or any of that, as well as pigmentation. Great palette. This last fifth product is the Laura Geller High Dev Glow Eliminator Duo in Heart of Gold. And it is a duo of two highlighters. As you can see, this is the one I used for the look today. I will insert swatches of both of these as well so you can see how those look on the skin. Now this palette retails for $33. It features a shimmer that radiates pearlescent polish and a stardust sparkle. The left shade is called Shimmer. Okay, those do have names. I use Sparkle on the look. Shimmer is a soft low light of crushed pearl. And then on the right side is called Sparkle. It's high intensity that looks as though it was plucked from the night sky. So that's great. You have a more wearable highlighter on the left side and then a more intense one on the right side. But y'all know I'm all about my intense highlighters. So of course I went straight for the Sparkle. Okay, so those are the products all the products I got in this month's box. Yeah, let's just dive into the look and see how I created this. So I actually filmed this look yesterday and I had to refilm it. I stopped midway and I just said I was gonna record it today because my lighting is way better than it was yesterday. Yesterday, it was gloomy and the lighting just did not do my skin any justice. So I'm going to be using some products from the Bonkin Charm for January. And I'm starting off with the Bali Balm Sweet Orange and Coconut Lip Balm. So I prime my lips. This stuff tastes and smells amazing. I had the chance to try it yesterday. Cause I, like I told you, oops, y'all can't see. I did film this yesterday already. Starting off with a primer for the eyes. Or should I prime my face first? I'm actually going to make a habit to start priming my face because I have a ton of face primer and it's never going to get used if I don't use it because I don't do makeup on clients anymore. So I'm going to try to start doing this. This is the Laura Mercier Hydrating Foundation Primer. This probably needs to be chunked. This actually was a great foundation primer when I used it. I just haven't used it in a while. This is going to allow this to Soak into my skin before or while I'm doing my eye makeup. As you can see, it gives my skin a nice dewy, shiny glow. And it just really hydrates the skin. Okay, I'm cleaning my hands off now because I do not want my eyes to have that same finish because everything's gonna crease on top if I don't or if I do it. This is the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. We're gonna go ahead in with the eye primer now. Just a smidge of this. For the eyes, I will be using this Ciate London, the Velvet Palette. It's a nice palette of mattes and shimmers, mostly shimmers. So I will be stepping out of my cover zone today because y'all know I love my mattes. So, First, I'm gonna take this warm color. I'm sticking to tradition here. I'm gonna take this color in the crease. This is a Luxie 205 Tapered Linen Brush. I actually got this from a previous boxy charm. I'm taking that into the crease as my buffer shade. right above that with a lighter color. This one here. This is also matte. I'm 
I'm gonna go into my lid color. I'm taking this color here. None of these are labeled, so that's why I'm pointing to everything. This color here, and a flat brush. This is some random brush from a brush set. Doesn't have a name, just take any flat brush. This color is very buttery, so be careful. I actually dug too much out yesterday and made a dent into the product. Doesn't take much. You can also probably apply these wet for even more of a metallic finish, but I'm not gonna do that today, believe it or not. Gonna stick to wearable. I mean, metallics are wearable to me, but you know what I mean. On that outer V, this is a Juvia's J127 Precision Brush. It's a nice tapered brush. I finally opened my Black Friday package from 2019, a couple of days ago. I know, it's 2021 and I just got to my Black Friday packages <laughs> from two years, for a year ago, a little over a year ago. Oh my God, it's just embarrassing. I get so many packages, y'all, and I don't know. I just didn't want to open it for some reason. I don't know, I just didn't have time. I finally got into it though. I'm taking this color on this outer right corner of the palette, this color here for the outer V. But yeah, I'm so glad I got a chance to finally open it because these brushes are really good. And I also got a ton of foundations and palettes, which I have not gotten to opening or testing or trying yet. I ordered a ton of foundations. They're on sale, so I was like, okay, let me just order a bunch so I can see what my color is. I need to test them out. I might actually film a video of doing that. Let me know if y'all be interested in that in the comments below, please. Back into the crease. Not necessarily adding additional color. I'm just really blending out everything. To constantly check my lighting because I sit right in front of a window. And sometimes it can get bright and dark back and forth. Okay, lower lash line. I should have actually left this out. I'm taking like a forest teal green color for the lower lash line. Feel free to use something neutral if you want. I mean, this is neutral, but yeah. <laughs> this is ColourPop Vaseline Cream Gel Liner. It looks exactly like this. I'm applying this on the lower lash line, stopping here, and then all across the entire waterline. Okay. For that inner corner, I'm gonna put this away really quickly. Take a sip of my matcha. For the inner corner down there, I'm taking this bright gold with that same flat brush and cleaning it off that I used earlier. I'm bringing it around slightly, not too far inwards. I'm gonna hold on to the palette, although I'm done with the colors, just because this mirror does, or this palette does have a mirror in it. I'm taking this Juice of Beauty Black Noir liquid liner doesn't have the best brush for a wing but i'm going to try to work with it anyway because it's good to apply color because it's so black and pigmented It's actually better than it turned out yesterday. Oh my God, it's so thick. I spoke too soon. I can clean it up even better when I do concealer, hopefully. Gonna do my face makeup. I already have primer on, as you saw. I'm mixing my two usuals, NARS Natural Radiant Longwear and Marquises with my Circle Color Balance Liquid Foundation. Cannot wait until the day I can finally get rid of these and not use them again because I'd rather not mix because I have several where the color matches, you know, like it should. I'm actually gonna take extra 
than I normally do because I'm trying to use it up. And this is just a random foundation brush. I think it came from Amazon. Gonna start kind of cleaning up around my eyes, but I'm not worried about precision because I still have to do concealer. All right, I'm gonna leave this on the back of my hand in case for some reason I need it to blend out bronzer or something. Concealer, this is the ColourPop No Filter Concealer Medium Dark 38 with the Maybelline New Instant Age Rewind Eraser Concealer in the shade Brightener. It's just a brightener, there's no like color or anything. It works best over concealer on my skin complexion. So start by putting the concealer, strictly that. I'm also gonna put some up here too. And then I go on top of the brightener. And just push it in. If you have this product, you know how it works. You just push it in to disperse the product. That's how it comes out. I don't put any on my forehead because I find that it looks a little ashy when I put it up there. So I skip the forehead. This is a Morphe M334, great for concealer. I kind of bring this upwards on my nose and keep this in the center and that in the center. I clean my brush off completely before I do my forehead because I don't want that brightener up there. And then I swirl this around and down a little bit. Then I take my foundation brush, no additional product at this point in case or unless I need some. And then I go around the edges of everything lightly. Now I'm gonna set the powder under my eyes. Clean my brush off, because I think I used a shimmering highlight on top yesterday. This is the MAC Mineral Less Skin Finish Natural in Medium Plus. This works great under my eyes. I know it's really light, but it works great because I like light under my eyes. And I don't swirl it, I pack it into place. And I, this is basically <laughs> pack it over all the highlighted areas, including my forehead. I'm gonna take this Bobbi Brown Eye Opening Mascara. I'm gonna go ahead and put my lashes on just so those can go ahead and go on. This is the Red Cherry 118s. So I'm gonna take my favorite bronzer in the world, I promise you. Like at first I thought I loved the MAC Sun Power Mineral Last Skin Finish. This one is way better. The raves are definitely justified. This is the Gucci Powder Bronzer. It says Eclat Solil. It's the Gucci Bronzing Powder in Eclat Solil. I don't think that's right. I mean it's on here, but this is the dark one, the darkest one. It's absolutely stunning and gorgeous. I was afraid of this at first because they said it was very natural and sheer. I don't like sheer and natural bronzers, but it packs a punch. Watch. This brush works great with it. This is a Fenty Beauty 190 bronzer brush. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. Even if you put too much down, you can blend it out so easily. I don't know if it's the product or this brush that does that, but it just, I don't know, man. It's amazing. I love this bronzer so much. It has the perfect amount of red, the perfect amount of brown. I just love everything. Like, look at that. Oh my gosh. And then you can turn this brush sideways. Rihanna is a genius. Oh my gosh. This brush. Why did I wait so long to buy her brushes? Y'all know I like to go around my temples with it as well. And this brush, 
I'm so good at doing that. Oh, this is the best, the best bronzer brush in the world. It has to be. And then you can flip the brush over and do the other side. Oh gosh, I'm sorry. I just love it. I love both of these together. Don't worry about the bottom. We can blend it out afterwards if you happen to go too far down. And as you can see, even though you might have applied a lot, it blends effortlessly. Now I'm going around the temples of this. Oh my God, my face looks amazing. Oh, okay. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm just having a moment. I'm telling you, you have to try both of these. Not necessarily the dark one, just do it based on your complexion. If you're darker, go for the dark, obviously. But I don't know. Yeah, if you're really, really, really dark, this is the darkest shade, just keep that in mind. I'm telling you, you have to try it. I didn't pay full price. I mean, y'all could have probably guessed that. But what I did, I had a bunch of stuff, I'm talking thousands of points with Sephora, and I found out you could do $10 off by taking, I think, 500 of those points and cashing them in. That's what I did to buy this. Otherwise, this is like 63 bucks. I paid 53. It's still expensive, but I'm telling you, it's worth it. It's absolutely worth it. I almost want to buy another one. That's how much I love it. I just want to buy another one in case they discontinue it. I'm telling you, it's amazing. I can't stop putting it on, if you can't tell. The highlight I'm using is also from the Boxer Charm, the Laura Geller High Def Glow Illuminator Duo in Heart of Gold. I'm taking this one here. The same brush I used for the color under my eyes. I'm slightly dusting it off and I'm just packing that under here. And a halo. Taking the slightest hint of this face front cosmetics cheek up blush in Buenos Aires. It's so pigmented that I'm only taking what's in the lid, and I'm only taking a few dots of that. I'm gonna squirrel it into the apples of my cheeks. Literally, that's it. For lips, this is the Glam Vice Vivid Matte and Unapologetic. Feel free to go neutral. That's it for my look. I hope you all loved it as much as I have enjoyed creating it. Great palette. I did stuff outside of my I did stuff outside of my comfort zone with all of these shimmers, but I feel like the look is still well balanced with mattes. That's the thing, I can't do all shimmer at once, but when I have mattes to balance them out, I'm totally fine with that. This is a nice palette if you love metallic and shimmery colors. And the great thing about it is it's still wearable because you have your your neutrals, or not your neutrals, but your mattes in here. All the colors are pretty neutral, let's be honest. But in the palette, there are one, two, three, four, five mattes. And then the other seven are shimmers. So it's a great balance. Also has a mirror, it's very slim. You can take it with you, travel or whatever. Same thing with the Laura Geller High Def Glow Illuminator Duo. Two colors, one is a little lighter than the other, so really good. Also has a built-in mirror, which is great. Love things with built-in mirrors, if you haven't already noticed. <laughs> and I have not tried the Deep Sweep 2 BHA Pore Cleaning. Toner. I have not tried that, Let's see. but I do have another BHA pore cleaning toner that I'm using now that I'm going to use up before I use that one. And of course, once I've used it and everything, it will be my empties video, a future one. So yeah, the lip balm was also awesome. I loved it and it feels great underneath my lipstick. That is it for my BoxyCharm January video. Also, I will be doing a BoxyCharm January premium video, something I've never done before, but they asked that I do one for that box this time. So they sent it to me. I'm so excited to share it with you. I'm not sure if it will be up before this one. It may. If it is, of course, I'll have it down below. And if it's up already, it'll be linked up here. So you can check it out. 
Please rate the video, subscribe to my channel if you have not already, turn on those post notifications so you don't miss anything I post in the future. Talk to you soon. Thank you for watching.